Everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, we're gonna do a couple fig ramblings. We're gonna talk about some random pieces of information about figs that I think are really important and often overlooked, and uh, this is really newbie mistakes. So if you're a newbie and you're not really sure what you're doing or you need some clarification on certain things, this is like the finer details of it. So the two trees I'm looking at right here, we just took them out of the greenhouse. Reason being is because we need to free some room up in there it was just getting too crowded and plus I needed to get back in there and water some things. I needed to thin some, some new shoots. I needed to pinch some branches. I had a couple pomegranate trees in there that were just not looking too good. Also, if you look at this tree down here, is that this guy doesn't look too good. And this is the tree, the single branch, the single tree that was in direct blast of the heater. And the heater puts out a pretty dry heat and because it do that, it does that, it really dries out the limbs, it dries out the new, the new growth. And as a result, this tree really has been set back quite a bit. And today is really the only day I've really got around to it. I've been trying to protect it in hopes that it would survive with this bag, sealing in that humidity, keeping itself protected. But it didn't really seem to work because I think portions lower down on the on the stem have taken some damage. And what's likely going to happen is that this new bud coming in down here is probably gonna to have to be the new trunk. And if this tree fruits, which it probably will, believe it or not, this branch down here probably will fruit because we still are very early in the season. But that's kind of fig rambling number one, is that if you have a heater and you're blasting the fig trees, try to get them out of the direct heat. Um, otherwise, this is gonna happen, you know? Fig rambling number two is that because we have them here out on the patio, we just took them out of the greenhouse, we need to adjust them to full sun. And I'm not entirely sure how much sunlight the greenhouse is getting at this time of the year because we still don't have leaves on the trees. But also because it has that plastic, the sun is less intense. Um, so for certain, these trees have kind of been growing in not the greatest light. And if I were to put them out here on a really hot, sunny day, all day, these guys are gonna get burnt to a crisp. All this green, beautiful growth is not gonna look good. Even the stems are gonna start looking like they took some sun damage. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is because today the sun's kind of out of the way now, is I'm gonna come in here about midday and I'm gonna put them in the sunroom or underneath the sunroom in complete shade. So we're just gonna, really at different times of the day, put them in the sun and put them in the shade, you know, just so that they can slowly adapt, slowly adjust to the outdoor full sun. It just really is super important. And a lot of you guys make this mistake with every plant. Even I make this mistake. It's just something that really takes time. And if you don't do it slowly, you're gonna regret it. So this is just is what it is. And this is something we've got to do. Um, the last thing I want to mention here is that these are Franken figs that we're looking at and you can see all of these have been grafted and what we've done here is we've took we've taken off the tree tube and this is the stuff that was basically holding this graft together for an entire year if we leave this on here too long we're gonna get just the negative effect is that it's going to strangle this this bark down here and this this trunk and it's just not really good for the tree so in order to stop this from strangling itself and you know kind of stopping a lot of those nutrients from getting up into the actual graft we're going to take this off and this is kind of important and something you want to do but also you need to be careful when you do this because if this is in any way wobbly from the main stem, if you hold this and then wobble this portion here, if this is in any way wobbly, you need to support this again. You need to put the more tree tube or put another stake on this. Really make sure that this is gonna stay together and do that for the next year, entire year. Um, what's interesting is that in these little nooks and crannies of the graft and also where the tree tube was wrapped around, there's been lots of scale. So what I've been doing is, not only am I coming in here and taking off this tree tube, as you can see, 
show you guys this particular one, I guess. It's not that difficult to get off, but it is with one hand. And then this comes off and what, ideally you should really know if this is gonna break because if you take this off and the thing just falls off, your graft was not successful. Uh, it didn't take most of the time on both sides. So what we're, we're talking about here is actually, if I get in close, it's really tough to see, but this side of the graph needs to take and this side needs to take. If both of them haven't taken, there's a weak point in the graph and it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna do well and you're gonna have to support it for another full year. Now in the nooks and crannies, by the way, is scale. And the scale is just pretty much all over these graphs and actually this one seems pretty clean believe it or not this one doesn't have any of it but what you want to do is after taking this off come in here and really clean off any of the scale that may be present we are going to come in here and spray in some horticultural oil which is going to kill all that scale that may be still there even though we we knocked it off there is actually some scale in this graft really in a small space that you can't even get in here with your thumb you need to take some kind of knife or something and really dig that out but this is really important and something that is probably overlooked and if you let the scale get out of control scale is going to be all over your trees by the end of the year uh it's just it's a thing and by august your trees are going to stop growing and you're going to be like what's going on and you know it's going to put a damper on your season so Take care of the scale for sure. Undo these little graphs if they are being supported, but undo them slowly and support them while you undo them. So those are really the fig rambles that I wanna mention. The three things that are kinda of going on. Keep them out of the direct sun for a while. You know, take off the, uh, the graphs there so that the union is not gonna be destroyed and girdle itself. And then also, if you got some trees in direct blast of a heater, you know, not good. So, <laughs> all right, guys, take care and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one and this kind of thing. If you want to see more things like this, I think we're going to come at you guys as it happens. We're going to try to do more things like this. All right. All right, guys, take care and I'll catch you for tomorrow's video.